Jenna Ortega, the rising star known for her roles in Wednesday and the Scream franchise, recently graced the stage of The Tonight Show. She was there to chat with Jimmy Fallon about her exciting new project, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Little did the audience know Jenna had a spooky story up her sleeve, a tale from the set that involved a certain bio-exorcist with a penchant for chaos. Jenna, with a mischievous glint in her eye, set the scene. She described the bustling environment of a film set, the controlled chaos of hair, makeup and wardrobe. She was getting ready for a scene, lost in the world of brushes and powders, when suddenly she felt a presence behind her. A tap on the shoulder, a simple gesture, yet in that moment it sent chills down Jenna's spine. She turned, expecting to see a crew member or perhaps a fellow actor. Instead, she came face to face with a sight that would stay with her long after the cameras stopped rolling. It was a figure shrouded in darkness with an eerie glow that seemed to emanate from nowhere. Jenna's heart raced as she tried to make sense of what she was seeing. The figure moved closer and Jenna could feel the air grow colder around her. She wanted to scream, but her voice was caught in her throat. The figure then whispered something unintelligible, sending a shiver down her spine. Just as suddenly as it appeared, the figure vanished, leaving Jenna standing there, bewildered and shaken. She looked around, but no one else seemed to have noticed anything unusual. The crew continued with their tasks, oblivious to the supernatural encounter Jenna had just experienced. Jenna took a deep breath, trying to calm her racing heart. She knew she had to get back to work, but the encounter left her with a lingering sense of unease. Was it a prank, a figment of her imagination, or something more sinister? As she recounted the story to Jimmy Fallon, the audience was captivated, hanging on her every word. Jenna's tale of the late-night scare added an extra layer of intrigue to her already fascinating career. Whether it was a ghostly apparition or just a trick of the mind, one thing was certain. Jenna Ortega's Late Night Scare was a story that would be remembered for a long time. And with that, Jenna left the stage, leaving everyone with a chill down their spine and a newfound respect for the mysteries that lurk behind the scenes of Hollywood. Standing before her in all his ghoulish glory was Michael Keaton, fully transformed into the mischievous bio-exorcist Beetlejuice. His presence was both commanding and eerie, a testament to his dedication to the role. The iconic black and white striped suit, the wild, untamed hair, the pale, almost translucent skin. Every detail was meticulously crafted to bring the character to life once more. It was as if the character had leaped straight out of the original film and into the makeup trailer. The transformation was so seamless it was hard to believe it was the same actor beneath all that makeup. Jenna, in her own words, was completely caught off guard. She had heard stories about Keaton's dedication to his roles, but experiencing it first hand was something entirely different. The sight of Keaton in full Beetlejuice regalia, especially with the prosthetics slightly peeling at the edges, sent a jolt of fear through her. It was a surreal moment, blending the lines between reality and fiction. Here she was, a young actress on the set of a highly anticipated sequel, face to face with a legend in the flesh. The weight of the moment was not lost on her, but it wasn't just the sight of Keaton that started Jack. It was the entire atmosphere, the energy he brought to the set. It was the unexpectedness of it all. One moment she was preparing for her scene, and the next she was face to face with Beetlejuice himself. The casual way he approached her, the mischievous glint in his eyes. It was clear he was enjoying every second of this surprise encounter. He was clearly relishing the opportunity to give his co-star a little fright, a playful reminder of the character he was embodying. It was a moment that would be etched in Jenna's memory forever, a testament to the magic of filmmaking and the dedication of its stars. Jenna, despite her initial fright, quickly found herself laughing along with Keaton. His playful energy was infectious, and she couldn't help but admire his commitment to staying in character, even behind the scenes. It was a testament to his passion for the role and his desire to create a truly immersive experience for everyone involved. The story of Jenna's encounter with Beetlejuice became a hilarious anecdote, a testament to the fun and slightly spooky atmosphere on set. It also revealed a glimpse into Jenna's own personality, her ability to laugh at herself and find humor even in the most unexpected situations. This experience, though initially frightening, ended up being a positive one for Jenna. It broke the ice, allowing her to see the lighter side of working with such an iconic character. It was a reminder that sometimes the scariest things can also be the funniest. 
Jenna, despite her growing confidence as an actress, couldn't help but feel a sense of awe working alongside Michael Keaton. She had grown up watching his films, admiring his range and versatility. To share the screen with him, to be directed by Tim Burton, was a dream come true. He's the coolest, Jenna gushed about Keaton during her Tonight Show appearance. Her admiration for her co-star was evident, shining through in her words and her infectious enthusiasm. She spoke about his talent with reverence, acknowledging his status as a true icon in the industry. Keaton's presence on set, however, wasn't the only thing that left Jenna starstruck. Joining the cast of Beetlejuice meant working alongside two other Hollywood heavyweights, Winona Ryder reprising her role as the iconic Lydia Dietz, and Catherine O'Hara returning as the eccentric Delia Dietz. Section 5. Winona Forever A Role Model's Influence Winona Ryder, with her haunting beauty and undeniable talent, had become a cultural phenomenon in the late 80s and early 90s. Her unique presence and the depth she brought to her roles made her a standout figure in Hollywood. She wasn't just another actress, she was a symbol of a new wave of cinema that embraced the quirky, the different and the unconventional. Her portrayal of Lydia Dietz, the goth queen with a morbid fascination with the afterlife, resonated with a generation, cementing her place in cinematic history. Lydia was a character who defied norms, who embraced her uniqueness, and in doing so, she became an icon for those who felt out of place in the mainstream. Jenna, like many young people, grew up idolizing Winona. She saw in Winona a reflection of her own aspirations and dreams. The characters Winona portrayed were not just roles, they were lifelines for many young fans navigating their own identities. Lydia Dietz was more than just a character to her. She was a symbol of individuality, a beacon of unconventionality in a world that often pressured conformity. Lydia's unapologetic embrace of her true self gave Jenna the courage to explore her own path, to be bold in her choices and to stand firm in her beliefs, to work alongside Winona, to share the screen with the actress who brought Lydia to life was both an honor and a daunting prospect. Jenna felt the weight of the legacy Winona carried, but also the immense privilege of learning from someone she had admired for so long. Jenna, in various interviews, has spoken about the surreal experience of collaborating with Winona. She often recounts moments of awe where she had to remind herself that she was not dreaming, that she was indeed working with her childhood idol. She described the older actress as kind, grounded and incredibly talented. Winona's humility and grace left a lasting impression on Jenna, teaching her that true greatness comes with a sense of humility and a willingness to uplift others. Winona's presence on set was a source of inspiration for Jenna, a reminder of the power of authenticity and the importance of staying true to oneself. For Jenna, Winona was not just a co-star, but a mentor and a role model whose influence would continue to shape her career and her approach to life. Um. Jenna Ortega's portrayal of Lydia Dietz pays homage to the original while adding her unique flair. It's a blend of gothic elegance and contemporary style that resonates with both old fans and new. Her costume choices, makeup, and even her mannerisms are a nod to Winona Ryder's iconic performance, yet distinctly Jenna's own. Lydia Dietz has always been a character that stands out, a beacon for those who feel different. Her dark, introspective nature speaks to anyone who has ever felt like an outsider. Jenna Ortega captures this essence perfectly, reminding us why Lydia Dietz remains a beloved character across generations. It's this timeless appeal that keeps audiences coming back year after year. With the success of Jenna's performance, talks of a sequel have gained momentum. Fans are eager to see where Lydia's story goes next, the original cast and crew are just as excited, ready to bring more of Beetlejuice's bizarre world to life. It's a thrilling time for everyone involved as the anticipation builds for what comes next. The new generation has wholeheartedly embraced the weirdness that is Beetlejuice. Jenna Ortega's Lydia Dietz has become a symbol of this acceptance, inspiring countless fans to celebrate their unique